Brad, welcome aboard. Glad to have you. We're excited to have you here today. We're excited to see this aircraft fly and some of the special things about it. So tell me a little bit about what you do for Delta while we're waiting for the runway to clear and uh, you're coming to the airport. So thanks for that. An exceptional team I work with, uh, and just one culture standards, which is the flight training in the aircraft for Delta Airlines. Three of the great members of my team are these aircraft. So speaking of aircraft that we can see down there to our left on the north end of the field is that big aircraft. It's got quite a special paint scheme on it. Now I have to know something, Brad, i got to tell you. I, I saw the airplane a little bit earlier. And Delta's a partnership with Team USA. I've seen the incredible livery on the airplane, like I said. Uh, I've seen the commercials. I've seen the media. And it was unbelievable, but why the Olympics? What about the partnership between Delta and Team USA? Great question, special answer. So Delta, we believe that we will be better than the next world. When you think about it, nothing brings the world together, quite like Team USA, the Olympic and the Olympic teams. Awesome. So Brad, is the airplane that departs here? Let's let it go by and let the folks listen to this spectacular sound. Very interested in that. 
uh, flaps, uh, the flaps were deployed still there in that turn as he went by. So you mentioned Delta One, um, and that's a, a special class of cabin. So talk a little bit about what is Delta One. So Delta One, we consider to be the most exclusive cabin in the industry. There's a limited degree flat flat beds made by Thompson Aero Systems. Um, you get access to chef curated meals that are personalized for the local cuisine. So depending upon where you're going, where you're coming from, the food's going to match that area. Uh, you also have more stretch to lay out and relax. Uh, there are also very adjustable seats. But really, regardless of where you sit on the airplane, it's going to be a great experience. Yeah, it looks like an amazing okay. aircraft. So I know there's some people sitting up front flying that this <laughs> afternoon. So tell us a little bit about the pilots that are flying today. I said they got it down here. Easily, they can do a special part of this. Yeah, yeah. What do you do? Captain is Karen Ruth. Captain is a Karen is a lead range pilot for Delta Airlines. She began flying a few years ago. She was flying a passion and dedication to the career of the base, which is a recruiter. She's a leader here. She's a captain leadership facilitator for us. She's a hotel coordinator and the list goes on and on. She's a mentor. She's been a speaker at multiple aviation, urban aviation conferences. She's more volunteer than I can believe it or not. Well, that's awesome. So folks, direct your attention to the left of show soon as you're looking eastbound from the crowd land. You see the aircraft circling in the left-hand turn towards us. This is where you're going to want to get your cameras out. This will be uh, its last pass from left to right. So a great opportunity to get a picture here, Brad. And tell us quickly about the other pilot that's sitting here. Absolutely. So in the right seat today, we have Sheila Baldwin. Sheila is equally remarkable. So Sheila is an instructor pilot on the 330. She's also a... Uh, Former F-15 Strike Eagle pilot, she retired as a lieutenant colonel from the Air Force. Uh, she has two Meritus Service Medals, two Airmen Medals, and several Airmen Achievement Medals. I just want to mention one quickly too. Uh, this is a massive event. She is a uh, local native. Talk about what Dream Flight is. 
So, so Dries Blay returned last year after a several uh, year absence due to COVID. One of the things we believe is important, again, is making sure we need to have the as possible. So we'll partner with all the organizations. For that, that was beautiful. It's going to, uh, you don't get goosebumps if you're not paying attention. So we've funded over 600 scholarships to inspire greater interest, provide access to programming for future leaders in aviation. Across the board, we've donated close to $100,000 this year to partner with organizations like Women Aviation.